Welcome back, everybody. It's PlayStation Live from E3 2017, and we are joined by a very special guest, Mr. Shuhei Yoshida. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. It's always a, such a pleasure. This is a fun part of my E3. <laughs> I always look forward to joining your show. I mean, E3, the whole thing is really fun, but oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I appreciate the kind words. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Um, so yeah, we're here to talk about Patapon Remastered, yes. which is yep. coming to PlayStation 4 this summer. Yep. Uh, did you know that this is actually the 10th anniversary? Oh yeah, 20, okay. 2017. It came yep. out in 2007. It's been 10 years since Patapon right, first right, came out. Right, right, right. The first one was uh, 10 years ago. I was uh, actually working here in the U.S. So, oh really? So occasionally I was visiting the studio in Japan, and uh, I was shown this game, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Very crazy, you know. Do you remember the first time you ever saw it? Uh, well, yeah, it was in the studio in Japan the, when the game was still early in development. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The the art art style and the gameplay was so totally new. I, I was blown away when I saw it. Yeah, it's got these really unique visuals. These adorable characters, the little patapons. Yeah. The uh, rhythmic gameplay. It's so fun. It was always really appealing to me. On the note of the character designs, though, I want to uh, make note of a special item you can pick up at the PlayStation Gear Store uh, starting right now. Check it out. Malik's here to model this new Patapon shirt that you can see right here. Go to <laughs> gear.playstation.com, and you can pick that up right now. Uh, <laughs> Looking good, man. Uh, also awesome. makes me look good. It's the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So, yeah, gear.playstation.com is available right now. Go pick it up. Um, so, yeah, Patapon is such an adorable game. Did you Do you know if there were ever any, like, earlier prototypes? Did you ever see any other fun stuff? You have, like, really inside access to this kind of stuff, so I want to oh, yeah, cry yeah. you for all these details. Yeah, so I had, yeah, the answer is I did, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I just remember, you know, I was so amazed, you know, when I saw it, and uh, it was already playable, yeah. uh, well, you know, early in the development, but, uh, you know, I, there, there are so many cute, interesting and uh, games uh, made during the days uh, by Japan Studio for PSP, so uh, it was really fun to visit them to see what they are working on. Yeah, and then yeah. Patapon 2, Patapon 3 came out. Yeah. I know people have been asking for a long time for a new Patapon game. I'm so excited to get to go back and play Patapon Remastered on PS4 with these beautiful new graphics. Yeah. So what what is new about the game and what's remastered from the game? Yeah, so this is, you know, you can see this beautiful 4K graphics. And the game is actually very, very true to the original. Yeah. So it plays and... Uh, uh, in the music is the same, character is the same, game system is the same. However, this gorgeous graphics was really, really created from the original artwork, you know, from the game. Uh, I see that they even brought back the mechanic where there's kind of a border around the outside of the screen. Might be difficult to see if you're not looking really closely for it, but it kind of has the, the rhythm of the music to help you help you time uh, the hits because obviously the whole game is based around this rhythm mechanic yep. of constantly pushing the buttons in rhythm to make the little Patapon army uh, do different things. Yeah, game is already playable from the beginning to end and uh, the, the team is making sure to work with the uh, Japan Studios because the original creators are still there to make sure the game plays and feels like the, you know, real original with, uh, you know, advanced graphics. Yeah. Meredith, did you ever get a chance to play a Patapon? No, so that's why I'm so excited that it's coming out because I never owned a PSP, so I never actually got a chance to play the original Patapon, and now it's coming to my PS4, so yeah. I'm so excited that you guys brought it back. Well, get ready to have the music stuck in your head <laughs> for the next 10 years because Wonderful. basically my like half of my life I've been walking around going bum, 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 pata, 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 bum. I was so, okay, so I was telling people um, last night that I was going to do this interview today, and everyone immediately at the table was like, pata, pata, pata. <laughs> On. Like it's so catchy. Yeah, I, I was with uh, Greg Mia yesterday. I was on his show, and he was asking about when is it coming out. When <laughs> is it coming out? And I was like, oh, we are taking time making sure the game is polished. And he said, if anything different, I can tell. <laughs> so, so what do you think, uh, uh, Yoshida-san? What do you think made this game so appealing to so many people? Made it such a beloved classic? I mean, it's really kind of an odd combination of like a kind of not quite a platformer, but kind of like a rhythm action type game. Yeah, so it's a, it, it's you know different from other music games. This yeah. you can play on your own own pace, and uh, it's very accessible. Anyone can play, but still it has a you know very deep 
game system that you can learn and advance. So I think that allowed people to play and come back for many times, and uh, that made the people to become, you know, fan of the series. It's been a really good last few months for these types of uh, music action games. We had Parappa the Rapper Remastered came out, which was a huge favorite of mine. Loco Roco Remastered just came out, and now we're rounding it out with Loco, uh, sorry, with Patapon. Yeah. I'm really excited. This is, uh, I mean, this is so exciting. And, and this year is great with the remasters, like, uh, you know, we just launched uh, Wipeout Omega yeah, Collector. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing, beautiful on, you know, 4K, native 4K with HDR, and Crash Bandicoot mm -hmm. is coming. Yeah. I was the original producer of the Crash games on PS1, so I couldn't uh, yeah. believe I was able to play all three games on PS4, and the developer Vicarious Visions did a great job of making it much more easier for the very first Crash Bandicoot because it was so hard. Did you so, see the guy in the Crash Bandicoot costume out there? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw. <laughs> He's out there Actually, doing I dance. took a photo with him. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was hanging out at the game spot. So what are some of the strategies involved in this game? If I'm going to pick this up, yeah. what do I need to know? Yeah, you need to know the combination of buttons. Mm -hmm. And uh, it starts very easy, yeah. you know, at the beginning. So you just learn, you know, pom, pom, pata, pom, pom, you know, that, you know, advance the characters. And you can build up your library, vocabulary of the rhythm, you know, combination. So, so you know, anyone can play. Great. Cool. So uh, this is obviously a very music-oriented game. We were talking about all the music games coming out. Um, I'm, I'm like act actually a really big fan of music in games, sometimes more so than even like the visuals or the gameplay. I think I'm kind of in the minority there, but <laughs> I think music is such an important part of Absolutely. games in general, especially something like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, actually in May, uh, for the first time in Japan, we had a classic concert uh, using all the music created by you know Japan Japan Studios game. Oh wow! And Patapon was wow. one of them. And there's a live you know uh, 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 live show of uh, drum you know drumming, and it's just so awesome. <laughs> and uh, I think we filmed the concert, and we are making some you know video out of the concert, it was so great. Uh, you, you know, we had music from uh, 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 all the, you know, Weda Sans games and the Patapon and the Parappa and the Axalat. Uh, I will make it available for uh, PSN users in Japan. So when you have a chance and check it out, it, it's, it's beautiful. So I agree with you, music is so important. Yeah. You know, when people might forget the gameplay, but they remember the music. Yeah, I picked up the Parappa soundtrack when that came out <laughs> because I love the music. I have so many fond memories of all the music in that game. Yep. Um, have you seen any other uh, interesting things around the show floor? It's day three. Yep. You've had some time to walk around and check some of the stuff out. What are some of the highlights that you've seen? Oh uh, Yeah, so it's a bit, you know, harder year to walk around because there are so many fans oh, yeah. here and it's great. I have like a lot of people it. been saying hi. I like the you know, energy and the passion. It feels a little bit of... Uh, you know, PSX. Yeah, feel. yeah. And uh, so, uh, so, so what I did was, you know, when I had a chance, I, I stayed uh, in my hotel room and had this, you know, your show, you know, running on TV. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, That's you know, checking out, you know, you, because it's great that you bring in developers and let them talk about. So one game I really liked was the some 2D looking action RPG. It's called some some sword ditto. The swords of ditto. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that really was. It's very. We had bids on the show yeah. talking about it. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was watching the show and I, I, I was like, I, I have to play this game. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. And I know we were just talking about Moss over there, the VR game. Yeah, yeah. that's a beautiful, you know, charming uh, um, game. Like uh, one of the uh, colleagues from Japan, the PR person from SIE Japan was uh, with me uh, during the uh, 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 media showcase, and she was like, uh, I love Moss. Yeah. <laughs> it's you beautiful. Know, with all the games, you know, many games with guns and the very serious looking guys, and this charming, cute, you know, <laughs> character, uh, you know, it's, it's great. So if there's one thing you want to try and get done, we're almost at the end of the show, yeah. but uh, is there one thing that you're going to try and go check out before the show closes? Uh, well, I haven't gone to the uh, North Hall 
<laughs> yeah, so I, I tried to get it's there. It's wild over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a yeah. lot going on. Yeah, so, you know, I, I managed to walk around Nintendo booths, and they are so kind, they invited us to check out. So I tried to get into Microsoft booths. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on this year. It's a huge, huge year for games. Yes, yes. Um, so, yeah, uh, anything else that you wanted to say about Patapon? Any yeah. fun stories you want to share before we let you go? Yeah, so the, um, we are having a lots of fun bringing back these, you know, old beloved franchise. And uh, many, many people asked me and uh, asked our people to bring back these, you know, series. And uh, unfortunately, we are not releasing a new game. However, for people like you who have never played platform before we are using the latest technology on ps4 to yeah. make it realize in a much bigger screen uh, and preserving the original title so uh, please check it out when you know it comes out this summer and uh, we are continuing to listen to the fans to bring back you know uh, what, what, what whatever they tell us uh, to consider and the one big game uh, that we just announced this E3, you know, in terms of remaster, is Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, yes. And that's one of the, yeah. you know, titles that people really, really wanted to revisit. That and, looks uh, incredible. Yeah, everything is recreated. All the asset uh, was, has been recreated uh, uh, from the scratch uh, to use the latest technology. It's so beautiful. And uh, anyone who have Never try Shadow, Shadow, Shadow of the Crosses. This is the definite, definitive version. I'm, I'm a bit ashamed to say that I never finished Shadow of the Crosses. <laughs> oh, like yeah, now is your chance. Through. So now I finally have a chance to go back and play it with these gorgeous new graphics. That, that tiny video that we got, that little morsel uh -huh. of footage that we got looks so good. Yeah. I can't wait for it. Yep. Cool. Well, Yoshida-san, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we are coming to the close of PlayStation Live for me 3 uh, but we're not quite done yet, so please stay tuned. We'll have more coming up. PlayStation.